All right, the Van Water Challenge gold medal. This one should be really easy to recreate for anyone going for the achievement. Um, I also have a video up on the dirt bike time challenge and the golf cart time challenge. So um, with those three done, you could probably just knock out the two houses for time challenges if you're willing to sink about 25 minutes in each. Uh, they aren't too bad. Um, but the dirt bike water challenge, uh, is probably pretty doable as well. So, but here, let's just go in to the van water challenge. Now I'm only going to use two nozzles and I'm going to stay with the, uh, the stubby gun here. Um, and I'm just going to switch immediately to the green for the surface dirt and later for the stubborn dirt around the perimeters of the windows and the door handles, I'll switch the turbo nozzle. But starting with the green nozzle, I'm going to just worry about these hubcaps. So I'm going to make about three passes, um, and that should clean each hubcap. I'll come back for the wheels in a moment. If for some reason it doesn't finish, you probably just need to hit the hubcaps, I'm sorry, the lug nuts again, and the hubcap should clear like I did there. So. And you could be cleaning the uh, tire better than I'm doing right now, but I'm just showing you uh, how I've done it and how it works for me. So I'm just going to, and I'm going back over the hubcap. You're really not pressed much for water in my opinion here. If you're anywhere under the two liter mark, when you're done with the entire uh, wheel, all four wheels, I should say. I think you're uh, you're on your way uh, to a gold medal. If you're much over two liters, you're probably going to be cutting it close. Like if you're three or four liters, and you're just finishing up the wheels, yeah, you're you're. It would be really tight to be able to finish the rest of the vehicle, probably. So. Hopefully somewhere around one and a half to two. There we go. So just over one and a half. Um, next, I'll go up front and under the bumper, that blue section down here, I'm going to turn the nozzle. Um, and this section here on the edges of the bumpers seem to be uh, where I'll target the most because I think this gets counted higher for clearance of the entire body since that blue section is part of the body and uh, the license plate is actually part of the bumper so we don't need to focus on that quite so much so i'm just going to start on this side and kind of try to hit under the bumper while i hit the uh, blue section of the body at the same time then i'm just going to stand up maybe the middle s dance and then come back and hopefully finish off the bumper in one pass and the same with the grill i'm just going to kind of hit the body section under the grill and probably get in the middle stay back a little now those turn signals and the headlights the turn signals clean the easiest the headlights are somewhat easy to clean but the grill might actually take a little bit of work so you might want to check and see how close you are and hit it from a angle or two so there we go the bonnet is really or the hood is really easy to clean um, it's just surface dirt, so if you just make a few passes, maybe three or four, that should clean that off. There's a lot of surface dirt on the windshield, so since I'm here, I'll just go ahead and clear some of that off. But you can see around the perimeter of the windshield is where the caked on dirt is, so we'll come back for that later. Also, this is part of the body. Uh, we'll jump up there and clean that later. Now the doors are counted separately, but this front section is part of the body on each side. This is all part of the body. And then even though there's two doors here, everything around it is part of the body. So I'm going to start here at the bumper. And the same thing, these edges and underneath are going to be my first kind of focus. And once again, the license plate is considered part of the bumper, so we don't have to focus on it. We can just... Give it a good once over. Oh, miss that. And now if we hit it from this section, we should get a ding on the bumper. There we go. These turn signals come clean really easy. So we'll just go make a pass or two across the back here. 
take all the surface dirt off. Not worried again about the windows, the doors, just trying to hit the majority of surface dirt, especially the portions that might be considered part of the body. Now I wish this were like real life where water actually went down the vehicle cleaning what was below it, but it doesn't quite do that. I keep backing into whatever's behind me. Um, okay, I can't move that, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's Now see, that is probably too much dirt to leave, so I'll go ahead and waste a little water there. But uh, for the most part, you can leave a little bit of light dirt on here, but you definitely want to hit big sections. You don't want to leave that kind of dirt. Um, or you're going to have a harder time when you finish off even this little thing down here. All right. So I think that's pretty good for this side. Um, if we have to, we can kind of hit that from up top. Let's come around to this side. And I'm going to start at the bottom since water does not come down the vehicle to clean it uh, in this game. That is way too much not to clean up. And I would say when you're done down here, you probably want to be somewhere in the 8 to 9 liter range. And then when you're done with the entire body up top, you want to be in the 10 to 12 range at most. Um, if you're at 10, you're a lot better off. If you're at 12, you're cutting it close. So I'm just going to start hitting the top now, cleaning off. Oh, pfft, didn't mean to do that. But again, I think this is a pretty forgiving level. So if you're making mistakes like I am, don't think your run is over at the gold medal. Um, it just might be a little closer. But uh, I would like to be done around the 10 liter mark if at all possible. Obviously, the more water you have, the better you'll be on the next sections. But, uh, yeah, I'm not... I must have missed somewhere on the sides like this a little more than I wanted. And you can go back and check the meter. Let's see. Yeah, see, there's quite a bit down here that could be counting against me. A little bit there. That's the door. So there's a little right there. A little there. And we're still well under... T ah, there it is. That's what I missed. There we go. Now the entire body's done. We just have the four doors, all the glass, the mirrors, and the uh, windscreen or windshield. So I'm going to start back here at the doors. Now I'm going to switch over and finish off with the turbo nozzle. So... Um, just checking, we have a little bit here, and I'll probably just try to clean around the inside of the edges of the window first, and that way if I miss, I'll be cleaning the door at the same time. Okay, that window's done. There's a little bit here maybe, a little bit there. The doors are pretty forgiving, I will say. If you get pretty close, they should pop. There we go. Now the same thing here. I'm going to hit the handle on this side a little bit better though. And, uh, and then I'm going to work the glass some. I went a little bit farther than I wanted, but we are still way under where I'd be at all concerned about how much water we have left. And you can see I'm being very careful with how much uh, pressure I'm putting on at any given time. Uh, because I know I'm going to miss a lot. So let's uh, hit that. Let's hit that. I know there was a little down there. There we go. So the back doors are done. Um, we just have the side doors, the mirrors, and the uh, windscreen. So let's go ahead and knock out a mirror here real fast. You definitely want to hit the base. Now this window, for some reason, the black strip, it might not show a lot of dirt, but that's where I typically have uh, an issue. So I guess if you're really having an issue getting the window on this one clean, you could switch up a nozzle. But um, I would say if, if you got most of the glass done and you're not getting it clean, just try around the black trim a little. And you'll probably get it to pop. There it goes. 
All right, so over on this side, uh, the door, the mirror, the window will be just left with the miss that, with the windshield. So again, I know the handle's going to need to get hit. I know we got to get some of this glass cleaned off, so I'll just go with that next. And I don't mind missing and hitting the door a little because we haven't finished the door. So we'll just come down the metal here, come over that. There we go. Now we're just left with the windscreen. Two liters is more than enough to do this, especially if you're careful. Um, so I'm just going to hit the biggest spots and kind of work around the perimeter. We probably won't even have to finish it, uh, maybe three quarters or so, and it'll probably just give us credit. So just if you're running out of water, take your time here. Um, I'm probably being a lot more careful than I need to be, but I'm just trying to see if I can do it in under one liter. There we go. So that wasn't even a liter. Hopefully this helps a little bit. Um, between these three challenges, if you've done the dirt bike time, the golf cart time, the van water challenge, um, you're getting better at these things. Um, I still think that the two houses on time challenge are very doable at 25 minutes but uh, it's a lot of time, so you might want to try a different water challenge. The hardest ones for me are like the vintage car, the fire truck. Um, they're just, they're so caked on, even with the little bit of chemicals they give you, I just have a hard time uh, getting anywhere close to gold. So comments, questions, leave them below. Thanks a lot. Good luck.